What's going on guys? My name's Theoatrix and today I'm going to be talking about all the types of pures in old school RuneScape. There's actually so many types of pures in the game, but it seems that whenever I'm playing, I always run into some kind of new account build that I've never actually seen before. So today I'm bringing a video with all those different account builds and each of their benefits and disadvantages. Enjoy. Essentially, in old school RuneScape, there is a lot of pures, and I'm going to start off with the one defense pures. These pures usually have a very, very high ranged and mage level, usually enough range for black dehyde, and usually around at least level 80 magic. Along with a high ranged and mage, they have a mediocre attack level and an absolutely high strength level. Now, on the screen is a combat calculator. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But essentially, the reason why one defense pures are so good is that there seems to be a clear link between their ranged level and magic level and the attack and strength level in regards to their combat level. Defense, hit points and prayer seem to have their own mathematics behind them regarding the combat level but as you can see as I raise the range level really high I have more opportunity for strength and attack levels without leveling any combat levels. Now this is probably the number one pure you'll see around in old school runescape and they have either 50 attack for the granite maul, 60 attack for dragon weapons like the dragon claws or the dragon dagger, 70 attack for the whip or 75 attack for god swords. You never really see any one defense pures with more than 75 attack. Now, sometimes you'll find that they have level 1 attack and a really high strength level only, and this is an Obsidian Pure, where they use the Obsidian Maul, which requires 60 strength, and these Pures are really, really overpowered, since they have such a low combat level. Now, the reason why 1 Defense Pures are so powerful is that their low defense level keeps them at a really low combat level, but their combat stats are so high up, making them really, really strong. Usually you'll see them using a really fast range weapon like a magic short bow and then switching into their special attack weapon like the G-Maul and absolutely wrecking their opponents. Sometimes you'll see them using mage as their damage source and they usually use things like the flame of Zamorak spell with the charge spell which is unlocked at the mage training arena at level 80 and this is really powerful. One other thing I need to note is their prayer level, and usually you'll see them with either one prayer to minimize their combat levels, 13 prayer for ultimate strength, 15 prayer which comes as a reward from the animal magnetism quest line and allows them to use the Arva's accumulator which helps so much when PKing. Sometimes they have 44 prayer for all the protection prayers and eagle eye, the 15% range boosting prayer. And lastly, some of them have 52 prayer for smite. But this really increases their combat level, so it's usually only seen on max pures with level 99 ranged and 99 strength. Now, these are all the case for 1 defense pay to play pures, but what about the free to play 1 defense pures? These guys usually have a really high range level and strength level, but this time they cap their attack level at level 40, just enough to wear rune. By doing this, they can allocate more levels to strength with, without leveling their combat. They also don't really have any prayer levels since prayer becomes pretty useless in free to play without prayer potions and access to many altars. But what I've seen is a lot of free to play pures that are members, they bring a prayer potion into the wilderness and then they can easily just hop to a member's world, drink the prayer potion and then hop back to the free to play world. Not during a fight of course, but maybe before a fight or after a fight. The next type of pure PKing I'm going to talk about is the Void Pures. So in order to buy Void in the first place, the character needs at least level 42 attack, strength, defense, hit points, magic and ranged and also needs 22 prayer. So these stats are the requirements that Void Pures need, but usually the main Void Pure that you'll see is a ranged pure. So they have a really high range level and these base Void stats. But melee void pures do exist and they are out there, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to focus on ranged void pures. 
In my opinion, ranging void pures have to be one of the most overpowered types of pures in the game. And the reason why they're so overpowered is that the full void range set gives a 20% damage boost and a 10% accuracy boost to range. So basically, these guys have a super high damage per second and then can hit really, really high with things like a dark bow or the dragon throne axes pretty much any ranged weapon. A lot of people don't like fighting these kinds of pures, mainly because they have a decent defense armor, which Void is the equivalent to Mithril, and they're also overly powerful, and they don't really risk much when they die. The next big pure is the Zerka pure. Now, some Zerka pures stop at level 40 defense, which allows them to wear the fighter hat, fighter torso, Barrows, Gloves, and Rune Armor, but most pures that are Zerkers you'll find end up going all the way to 45 defense for the additional Berserker Helm. And along with the 40 to 45 defense, they usually have at least level 60 attack for dragon weapons and a really, really high strength level, usually 99. And also they have level 94 magic for vengeance. And the combination of all these makes them a very powerful account. Before you consider making one of these pures though, you need to look up a guide because there's actually a specific line of quests that you need to do to ensure that your defense level ends up at level 45 or 40 and does not go over that since you've trained it. Now some Berserker pures choose to get level 75 attack for the Armadil Godsword, but you mainly see them using the Dragon Dagger with 60 attack as their special attack weapon. Most of the time you'll find that they have a really high range level as well and there is two reasons for that. One, it levels up their hit points really high which helps with PKing and second, they can wear black dehyde bodies and chaps which gives them a very high magic defense bonus in cases where they'll need that. These builds usually stop at about level 43 prayer for the protection prayers and ultimate strength but more often than not you'll see that they have level 52 prayer for smite. Sometimes you'll see that they stop at only 31 prayer for protect item and ultimate strength and this is probably the best for minimizing their combat levels. Now lastly is the piety pure and in order to use piety in the first place you need to have at least level 70 defense. So these guys obviously have 70 defense and along with that they have 60 75 or 99 attack and almost always they'll have 99 strength. They also need 70 prayer for the piety prayer itself. So piety or piety, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, gives the player a 25% defense boost, a 23% strength boost, and a 20% attack boost, which is overly powerful in a PK situation. Now you'll find that some piety pures choose to go from 70 to 75 defense, and that is for the serpentine helm and the dragon fire shield. And with that defense level, it allows them to wear the absolute maximum strength setup. Usually you'll find Piety Pures PKing in full Darox, but also a lot of the time you'll find them in full rune with their fighter torso. Now, I'm going to quickly brush over a few more PKing Pures, but I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about them. Firstly, at level 13 defense, players can wear adamant gloves from the Recipe for Disaster quest, and this opens up a world of pures which stop at 13 defense. So basically, along with the Addy gloves, they can get the Slayer Helm as well, which makes it a more viable kind of account option for people that want a main account kind of thing. Secondly, at level 20 is the Initiate Pures, and now this is a pretty common pure. Basically, at level 20 defense, people can wear Initiate, which gives the same stats as Mithril, but also gives them access to Adamant Gloves, Mystic Gear, the Slayer Helm, and these guys usually have about 75 attack for the AGS and a really high ranged level. The last pure is the 75 defense pure, and basically these guys are known as tanks. They wear the serpentine helm, which gives venom on the enemy, and then a dragon fire shield with that, and basically they're impossible to hit anything on, because they're only about level 40 combat, and they choose not to train their attack and strength solely to not level up their combat level, and using the serpentine damage with the dragon fire shield, they get so many kills. The last few pures I'm going to mention are the skilling pures, and this includes the prayer pures. 
I have a friend and I've seen a few accounts actually with 99 prayer and one in all the other combat skills except for 10 hit points obviously and basically these guys have level 15 combat and the sick looking prayer skill cape and they usually go ahead and go train other skills once they get 99 prayer and get lots of 99s in non-combat skills. In my opinion, this would be so hard to maintain because you need to require rings of recoil to actually kill bosses in quests. And you could, I guess you could use the retribution prayer to PK people, but it requires you to kind of die first. So it's not very viable. The last pure is the skilling pure. And these guys are level three with absolutely no combat skills and solely spend their time leveling up non-combat skills, making them a pretty cool looking level three account with a really high total level. Oh, and one more pure, there's the Bodhi pure. And that's where you get 99 range with a cannon so basically you don't get any hit point levels at all. So you'll have a really low combat level and you'll do huge amounts of damage. That means you can go in the wildy and get basically one hit by every person you see. Sounds pretty good, right? Anyway, guys, that's it for the types of pures in old school RuneScape. I think I might have missed a couple, but for the most part, I managed to include them all. So if you want to see more informative videos like this one, be sure to check out my channel. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more daily old school content. Quick note, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded very much recently. I had a pretty difficult finance exam today, so I didn't really have a lot of time since I spent so much time studying on that. So expect more videos in the future. And once again, thanks for watching and have a nice day.